Hi, I'm Dr. Fong. Today we'll discuss Chapter 10, One Sample Test. Before we start, we have to understand what is the meaning of hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing is a procedure to test the statement regarding a characteristic of one or more populations based on sample evidence and probability. In the hypothesis testing, we are normally have interested to test two types of parameters, which are population mean and proportion. These two we have discussed in topic A. Population mean is mu, population proportion is pi, sample mean is s bar, sample proportion is p. Okay, step one. Stick the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Okay, this chapter is very important for your final exam. So please focus. Step one, stick the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Normally, we have two marks in exam. Okay. Null hypothesis is a statement to claim the assumption about an unknown population parameter. But alternative hypothesis is the statement that we are trying to find the evidence to support it and it is the opposite of the null hypothesis. There are some symbols for hypothesis testing. For example, for null hypothesis, we can have equal sign, then alternative is not equal. If null hypothesis is less than or equal to, then Alternative hypothesis is greater than. Null hypothesis or H0. Many students make mistake. That's not HO but H0. H0 greater than or equal to then H1 is less than, opposite. And bear in mind, only the null hypothesis can have equal sign. Alternative hypothesis cannot have equal sign. Step 2. State the significance level. Normally, the significance level is given in the questions. Please read the question carefully in the exam time. Okay. What is significance level? Significance level is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis given that the null hypothesis is true, which is set by the researcher. Normally, the significance level setting is 1%, 5%, or 10% significance level. Where the significance level, sometimes we will write alpha or type 1 error. There are two types of error in making decision. Type 1 error, meaning that reject a true hypothesis and co which is considered a serious type of error. The symbol is alpha and we always call it as Level of significance. Type 2 error. Type 2 error is feel to reject a false null hypothesis. And we always call it as beta. And there is some possible test hypothesis test outcome. While step 3 is take the decision rule for the hypothesis testing. Where the decision rule is means that the statement regarding the condition that allow us to reject the statement in the null hypothesis. We can summarize it or display it by using graph. For example, step 3, we can draw a diagram to show where is the rejection and non-rejection region. Okay. If that is a normal distribution, our mean will be equal to zero. And the blue part, left hand and right hand side, this blue part is non-rejection region, while the purple part is rejection region. And this is a two-tier distribution. Okay. This is the example of two-tier tags and one-tier tags. For two-tier tags, our null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis will be we have equal sign. For example, null hypothesis H0 is equal, the symbol for alternative hypothesis, H1 is not equal. 
Therefore, our graph will be a two two tags if there's a equal and not equal symbol for hypo in hypothesis. The alpha divided two alpha is our significance of significance level. So if there's a two two tags, so our alpha have to divide two. Where the blue part here is the rejection region, the white color part is not rejection region. If we have a symbol, for example, null hypothesis is less than or equal to, alternative is greater than, or the null hypothesis is greater than or equal to, alternative is less than, then that will be a one tier text. And how we decide that uh, which side is the shaded region will be, refer to the alternative hypothesis. If our alternative hypothesis is greater than, so will be right hand side. Less than left hand side. Okay, step four, find the critical value. If there's a two two text, for example, mean equal to three, alternative mean not equal to three, then the critical region will be alpha mean equal to zero for a normal distribution. Then here, negative z. Here is positive z. The region for blue part is rejection region. White color part is non-rejection region. And negative z value, we call it as lower critical value. Positive z is the upper critical value. Same for left tail and right tail text. Step 5. Compute the test statistic value of hypothesis testing. Step 5 is the process to convert the statistic value to become Z or T value. To decide, we have to compute the Z or T value is depend on the N, sample size and the standard deviation sigma. If the sample size N is greater than 30, and the standard deviation is known, we use Z. If the sample size is less than 30, and the standard deviation is unknown, we use T tags. This is the one that I mentioned, that I said just now. If the standard deviation is known, and the sample size is large, large which means that N greater than or equal to 30, we use Z. This is the Z tags, and this is the formula Sample mean minus population mean divide the population standard deviation divide the square root of n. Wow, if standard deviation is unknown, sample size is small, which means that less than 30. Bear in mind, if n equal to 30, we use z. n is 29 or less, we use t tags. This one. So the Sim the formula is same. Sample mean minus population mean divide the sample standard deviation.